He influenced the world of music in a huge way and many future generations of rock musicians. Rebellious gentleman, charismatic frontman and influential rocker. He was unlike anyone else. Welcome to Personality Matters. I'm Arthur Kemps and today we'll be talking about David Bowie. Bowie was a 15-year-old boy when he created his first band and started performing at local youth gatherings. Over the next two years he often changed bands, trying to make it in a very competitive music industry. It was during the 1960s when David Bowie became David Bowie. At that time there was another popular performer named David Jones from the band The Monkees. It was in order to avoid being taken for him that David Jones changed his name to David Bowie. The breakthrough happened in 1969 when Bowie released the single Space Oddity. The song about an imaginary astronaut became a sensational hit in the UK. I guess you can say Bowie's career rocketed to a whole new level when he signed a deal with Mercury Records. It is so unusual that a director inspires and influences a musician, but that's exactly the story of David Bowie. You probably know a movie 2001 A Space Oddity. Well, the movie had a huge impact on many future directors, but it had an equally big impact on Bowie. Later on, he even said that the song Space Oddity came to him after watching the movie. He said, I went stunned out of my mind to see the movie, and it really freaked me out, especially the trip passage. Public service announcement, do not do drugs when watching personality matters. But if you happen to be inspired by the channel, we would love to hear from you. Bowie was a versatile artist who studied dramatic arts, avant-garde theatre and mime. He was wide open to new things and ideas, which found their way into his music and stage performances. The 1970s was a very successful and productive period of time for Bowie. One reason is that he released most of his major hits like Oh You Pretty Things, Rebel Rebel, Life on Mars and Ziggy Stardust. His music got exposure not only in the UK, but in the United States as well. Another reason is that this period of his career was marked with multiple stage transformations. It was at this time that Bowie created Major Tom, Ziggy Stardust, and many other characters of all Rigas that are undeniably linked with his persona. It was at this point that Bowie locked down his status as a full rock star and a fashion icon. At the beginning of the 80s, Bowie completely changed his style and turned into a gentleman character who wore three-piece suits, ties and daper shoes. Even though he was no longer into skin tie suits in silver, he still kept the makeup and the wild hair. They were a significant part of his image. Probably this is what was charming about David Bowie, who could easily mix and change styles without losing the tiniest bit of his personality. First, he challenged the status quo of his sexuality and androgyny. In 1976, he declared himself bisexual, even though later he refused that. Anyway, it was a bold thing to say at that time, when this kind of idea were not as largely accepted as it is now. Besides, Bowie's androgynous image, in a way, set the tone for the next generation of performers who often played in the mix of sexualities in their work. Second, Bowie was not afraid of experimenting with his image and style. It is thanks to this that he managed to create a wide range of stage personas. He built his performances in a mix of something theatrical, even slightly Shakespearean, with an abundant use of sci-fi elements and storytelling. So changing up his image and surprising the audience were a huge part of his popularity. Anyway, what any artist can learn from David Bowie is that people can get enough of you if you're always different and give them a sense of novelty. As he once said, if it works, it's out of date. Spoiler alert, this is great advice, but it doesn't necessarily apply to everything in your life. If you look carefully at Bowie's eyes, you might notice that they have different colors. Some even claim that they had to heterochromia. It's a genetic disease in which eyes have different colors. The truth is that they're both blue, only one of them has a permanently dilated pupil. That was the result of the fight Bowie got involved in when he was a teenager. He fought with a friend over a girl and accidentally was hit into his eye. Luckily, they patched things up and remained friends. Later on, his friend even helped him with designing album covers for the records like Fall of Ziggy Stardust. Bowie was a guy from a working-class family. He went a bumpy road to success. He was a musician who struggled for years to be noticed, but eventually sold 140 million albums. He was a rebel who boldly questioned the established and the standard, but became a fashion icon for many generations of performers and artists. He was unlike anyone else, but he was liked by everyone. Thank you for watching Personality Matters. We talk about people who made the world. Until next time, I'm Arthur Kemps.